So, since I did a video of my um, quote-unquote favorite telly, which is my Nash telly, I love this one too. Um, so, this one, I guess, is I call it the baby that started it all. Not that it's the my oldest telly or anything like that. It's just, it's an original. Um, I think that when you play tellies, or even when you play um, Gibsons, and then you end up playing a lot of different types of guitars, sometimes it's good to go to... The guitar that started a lot of the replicas or um, a lot of the, the, the followers. So this is a 1994 Fender American Standard. Um, and 
everything on this is stock. So um, whoever owned it before I did kept it in great position. Uh, um, it's in excellent, excellent condition. Okay. Um, I don't know if you can see this thing in here. When I bought it, I didn't even think this thing was 1994. It just looks so new, um, even to this day. It's very, very, very clean in and out. Um, typical of uh, Fender Specs, uh, maple neck. And there's this whole debate about whether or not maple necks get a brighter sound to uh, um, uh, 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 rosewood neck or ebony necks for that matter. And, uh, you know, to be honest with you, I don't notice that big of a tonal difference. It just looks different um, from that perspective. But it's a 25 and a half scale, one and 11 16th nut, um, your typical Fender three way position switch. Nothing funky on this thing, so there's no um, there's no four way straight, uh, no what no four way switch or anything like that. And um, I mean the guitar plays really really well, so um, it sounds like a Fender, plays like a Fender. Um, my one gripe about it is I'm not sure. I believe this is alder woods. I don't know. I don't even know which one weighs more, alder or ash. I guess it really depends upon the the, the chunk of wood, but um, it is heavy um, relative to to the Nash. I think my Nash is about seven and a half pounds. This has to be a little, at least a pound or two heavier than the, the, than the Nash. And so, I mean, I play it mostly sitting down, but I guess if I was gigging with it and I was standing up, that, that might, uh, you know, take its toll. But anyway, why I like this guitar is it's a Fender. It's, it's kind of like, um, I love the fact that I have a Nash, but I want to have a Fender. Let's just put it that way. I want the real thing. And not that the Nash is a fake thing. I think, you know, it's quite frankly, some of these, um, it's not really a boutique maker with Nash, but I think some of these um, 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 folks who come after the original, they do improve on it uh, unless you're trying to just get a budget guitar. So, I mean, it plays really, really well. This one is the only guitar I have right now that is not set up with flat wounds. This thing still actually has uh, round wound 11s on it. But everything else, uh, the Nash, uh, my arch tops are, are strung with Tomastic um, Infel um, 13s. And these are not even 12s. These are 11s on that stuff. So, um, like I said, you can still get a fat tone out of it. Uh, plays like a Fender. Um, sounds good. And um, I'm sure it takes pedals well, but I'm not playing through anything other than a little delay there. So, anyway... Hope you like it. This is my baby, my 1994 Fender American Standard Telecaster. Thank you for watching. Bye now.